August 15th, stimulus checks are arriving. Well, yes, kind of, but we actually need to offer some more clarity on this topic, which is exactly what I'm going to be talking about in this video, so let's get right into it. Hey everybody, welcome. Thanks again for joining me. If you're new here or if you haven't done so yet, make sure to hit the subscribe button right down below the video as it's totally free to do so, and I am back every single day with honest, accurate, reliable, and transparent information just like in this video right here. I'm also back every day as your daily voice and your daily advocate, doing anything I possibly can to do all the research, to keep you updated, and consistently reach out to Congress, even though <laughs> they're pretty much gone on recess, to reach out to them to remind them that we need additional stimulus checks as well as permanent raises to benefits like Social Security, SSDI, SSI, VA, RRB, and ultimately more relief for low-income individuals because right now, we know with all of these rapidly rising prices, it is the low income and fixed income beneficiaries that are being pinched the most right now, which is why we continue to reach out to Congress saying, hello, we just need some additional stimulus. We need some additional relief right now until a permanent solution can be put into place. So thank you so much for your continued support. As I've said so many times, the more people we have here in this community, the greater the impact and influence that we have going forward, especially as we call out to Congress for all of these big requests, asking them for additional relief during this time. It's a tough time right now, especially with everything going on right now. It is very, very important that we get more relief for all of these individuals. So again, thank you so much for being part of this community. I really appreciate it. Let's talk through this. All right. We need to have a little heart to heart in this in this video right here. All right. So I've seen this around. Maybe you've seen this as well. But I wanted to come back and talk about this because I anticipated about a month ago we would probably be seeing this. And of course, to no surprise, it's all over the place right now. So maybe you've seen headlines. Maybe you've seen other people talking about this. Maybe you've heard your neighbors or friends or people talking about this. And here it is. Stimulus checks are arriving on August 15th. Yes, hooray, right? Well... Not really. Let's hold up for just a second here, okay? Like I said just a minute ago, I bring you honest, accurate, reliable, and transparent information every single day in these videos, even if it's sometimes it's things that people don't necessarily want to hear. It's my job to bring you the accurate information. All right, so here's the thing. Yes, in fact, checks will be going out on August 15th. Well, let me change that. It's actually not even August 15th. This month, it's going to be August 16th because the 15th is actually a Sunday. So technically, payments typically don't go out on weekends, but you know we can go down that rabbit hole a different day. But here's the thing. Yes, technically, payments will be going out to about 40 million people on the 16th of August. What is it? It is in the form of the child tax credit payments. Now, there's actually another type of check that's going out this month as well, which give me a minute and I'll talk about that here in just a second, because again, there's more talk, or there's more information going around about that check as well. But let me hit on that here in just a minute. But here's the thing, the child tax credit payments, we've talked about this a month ago, because that's when they first started going out was July 15th, the first payments went out. Now, these are the monthly ongoing payments that will continue, they started in July and they will extend through the rest of the year. So I would anticipate this month, next month, and every month hereafter until the end of the year, I would not be surprised if about a week out from the 15th of the month, we start hearing all of these, you know, headlines and rumors and people going on saying stimulus checks are coming on the 15th. Okay, we just have to recognize that it is the child tax credit. The 15th of the month of every single month, it is when these child tax credit payments are going out to these 40 million eligible families and individuals who receive these payments, okay? So these are technically, well, I mean, they're categorized as child tax credit payments, but technically they're the same form in which stimulus checks have gone out. It's an advance on a refundable tax credit, which is exactly what a stimulus check is too, but this is under the name child tax credit, okay? We had the stimulus checks and child tax credit. I mean, two different names for literally the exact same thing. So anyway, I wanted to clear that up because I've seen it a few times and I thought, oh, oh man, here's where the misleading information comes in. This is where people get all excited and jacked up, you know, that it's coming and technically it's not a fourth stimulus check, okay? So I just wanted to clear that up for you. Um, but anyway, however, when it comes to a fourth stimulus check, we are still very confident that there will be one coming at some point over the coming months, sometime this year. But again, it's kind of hard for Congress to get anything done when they're, you know, 
on vacation or <laughs> whatever they're doing, probably sitting on a beach somewhere or, I mean, why would they sit on a beach when they're probably just hanging out at their own pool, right? I mean, why do you go to a beach when you have your pool? I mean, I don't know. I don't know where they live. I don't know their situations, but I'm just guessing that they're probably doing pretty well, right? <laughs> so anyway, uh, yeah, just another rip on Congress. Why not? I mean, why, why wouldn't I, you know? I mean, <laughs> it's just kind of free game, right? Let's just do it. So anyway, all right, so there is one more check that is actually going out. I've talked about this before and I wanna hit on it again because this is another concept where, you know, you see it every so often where it's, they're, they're saying more checks are going out. So here's what it is. For people who received the unemployment benefits in 2020, the first $10,200 of unemployment benefits that were received in 2020, um, as a result of the last stimulus package that we received back in March of this year, the American Rescue Plan, one of the provisions added in at the very end was the first $10,200 of unemployment benefits that was received in 2020 was not counted as income and it was not taxable. Therefore, anybody who filed a tax return prior to March 11th or on or before March 11th of 2021, um, because that was when the bill was signed into law, the IRS would automatically be amending those tax returns and sending out the appropriate uh, refunds to people as a result of not paying taxes and not claiming as income that first $10,200. So most people are getting the average refund for those um, unemployment benefits that, that, they pay, that they pay tax on is $1,600. So the average person is getting a $1,600 check. So yes, the IRS is still sending out those payments. Well, technically, they actually are sending out other stimulus checks as well. Now that I think of it, they are still sending out the $1,400 stimulus checks on an ongoing basis. So remember the $1,400 stimulus checks way back yonder, you know, earlier this year? Yes, I just said yonder. <laughs> Haven't said that one in a video ever, <laughs> but I did it. Um, anyway, <laughs> so that the $1,400 stimulus checks way back yonder this year, they are still sending those out on a weekly basis for those people who still have not received them. So yeah, they technically are sending those out. And again, now that I'm thinking of it as well, they are technically still processing tax returns and sending out tax refunds as well. So I guess as you look at it, there are a lot of checks going out the door right now. We have the child tax credit payments. We have the refunds for the 10,200 of unemployment benefits. We have the um, uh, tax refunds, just straight up tax refunds that people are still processing. Yes, and then the $1,400 stimulus check. So I guess if you look at it from that standpoint, yeah, I guess there's a lot of money still going out. But is it in the form of a fourth stimulus check? Technically, no. It is not technically the fourth stimulus check yet, right? So we're still expecting that. Uh, I'm still very confident that there will be one. It's just, you know, we need to kind of get Congress back in session and back to work. But, um, you know, who knows? But either way, even when they are on vacation, here's the thing. Last year when they were on vacation during their long summer recess, there was still actually a lot going on. There were a lot of people making statements. There was a lot going on as far as interviews and different kind of like um, like media kind of things, like where they would be interviewed on different stations and radio stations, stuff like that. So there is still a lot of things going on behind the scenes, but technically they're not like in session working right now, actively working on bills. But you know, behind the scenes, they're probably working on things and we'll get you know a trickle of information as we continue to move forward in the future or over the coming days, weeks. It's actually going to continue to be very, very uh, important and there's a lot of new information coming out literally every single day as we continue to move forward. So that's what I've been saying. So anyway, I hope this clarifies it. Again, if you see those headlines about April, um, August 15th, just recognize, yeah, it's the child tax credit payments. But yeah, there are a lot of other payments. I will continue to keep you updated with everything going on right now. As I've said, there's just a lot changing and there's a lot more outside of the parameters of these child tax credit payments, the refunds, the 10,200, you know, refund and these other $1,400 stimulus checks. There's just a lot cooking right now. So I'll tell you what's going on in the stew, right? Like stew on the stovetop. There's all kinds of things in there, potatoes and carrots and meat, mushrooms maybe, maybe some onions. I don't know, maybe some sauce. I'll tell you about all that stuff, all the ingredients within the stew pot going on. So thanks everyone. I really appreciate you. Hit that subscribe button right down below the video. Make sure that I am your one and only daily advocate every single day. Go back and check out any of the other videos right here on the channel. I have a lot going on. I have a lot of videos and uh, I'm just here for you every single day. So thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. Hope this one clarifies things for you and I hope this helps you out. Enjoy and I'll see you again soon.